monsters in Conan, they come from in all shapes and sizes. Some of them have alien origins, some of them have, uh, have mystical origins, and some of them are simply creatures living in the world. I think we have a very broad spectrum of uh, NPCs and monsters that the player will find in the game. Uh, it's obviously all based on, uh, you know, the lore. Howard did a good job describing uh, abnormalities and you know, the twisted branches of evolution going here and there. If you look at uh, what Howard did to the world, um, you will notice that he is very, very particular on, on describing the world as a dark and threatening place. This spills into how we do monsters in Conan. One of the great things about working with monsters is that once you've finished with the actual model and the animations, you put it into the game and you get to see the designers kit it out with senses and uh, behaviors and all kinds of different things that make you feel as if you're really, you're really bringing this creature to life. Their purpose is to indirectly tell you more about this world. There's a mysticism, there's a, a sub-world uh, beneath this world, and you never know what's going to crawl up from from this subworld. This doesn't only go for like supernatural beings, like demons or or old dark gods that send their tentacles out to pull you down. It also goes with the the creatures that you see in the everyday gaming experience, the uh, non-player characters, the soldiers, the casters, the mini bosses, all those kind of creatures. Uh, have a central role in surprising and challenging the players everywhere they go. The monsters serve as the primary obstacle to the player. Some of them might just be animals looking for a bite to eat and finding you hiding in, a, in the woods. Others again are demons and they're actually trying to hunt you and kill you. Then again someone might just be soldiers looking for a quick buck and Sure, they want to slit your throat for it. Every monster has, it has a purpose. And it's not just uh, whacking you. Uh, it could be hunting other monsters. It could be, uh, could be anything really that they do when, when you're not there. So if you'd have um, a camp, for example, you'll have some people skinning uh, animals, you'll have people bringing wood, you'll have people on patrol, you'll have people changing guards and things like that. So it'll, it'll seem like a, a natural environment to a player from the outside. You will notice also that we, um, we try to be more realistic in how we portray these monsters, these non-player characters. We give attention to detail, um, we try to make sure that they have a presence in the world that is meaningful. We try to advertise their reason for being there. Like when we build the world, we try to make sure there's a point of interest that the monsters gather around, what they're doing there, what they're trying to achieve. I think the AI definitely is, is one of the strong points of Conan, and it's one of the things that, that make, will make the game stand out and be unique, simply because what we try to do is we try to actually handcraft AI behavior for um, pretty much every different NPC in the game. The AI is um, dynamic, it adapts to what the player is doing. You really need to look at what the NPCs are doing as a player to be able to understand uh, how to approach a camp, for instance. If you try to attack the wrong one in a camp or in a, in a, in a house, in a castle, um, they will uh, notify the others. They might sound an alarm, they might blow a massive horn sitting there. Um, they might even like uh, try to gather up people from the other parts of the camp uh, to really give a sense of purpose and a sense of intelligent challenge to you as a player. I certainly hope that when a player enters Conan, he will experience exactly what Howard had in mind. We hope the players will be horrified, overwhelmed, and eventually destroyed, I guess. All the things that you will expect to see in a Conan game that you won't see in any other game, having your head torn off, 
uh, or uh, being eaten by a monster or really, really doing spectacularly painful thing to your opponent. <laughs> 